what's poppin'? You already know we on on the lockout. Who's locking now? Who's locking now? We here. I said I was gonna do it at eight o'clock. So my bad about the recording. Uh, the way it looks, the camera is a little messed up. I got to fix the lighting in here. I'm at a different place from where I normally was recording at. So you see the window behind me. That don't help. My voice, my lips are probably moving at a different time from my voice. Cool. You're here to hear the story. And homeboy escape him from Rikers Island. And that's what's important that you could get the audio, the visual. I mean, nobody wants to see my ugly ass face. Facts. <laughs> but anyway, we at Rikers Island. C74 is popping. It's lit. There's a lot of things going on, right? I slept all the way in the back. I'm in a mod. First of all, when they put me in that mod, I'm like, yo, you know I'm high classification. Like, you know I'm a gang member. You know I'm ah, ah, ah. And they're like, don't worry about it. I'm like, yo, I belong in a cell because I like to be in cells by myself, you know, on Rikers Island, privacy, whatever, right? It's just a whole lot better to me. A lot of dudes, the fact is they scared to go to the cell side. Facts. That's because their gun ain't going off like that. They not really about that life. I'm not, I'm not trying to brag or glorify, but it is what it is, bro. I'm telling my story. Whoever don't like it, go to another channel. Facts. So what I'm saying is this, right? And I don't mean to be disrespectful. It's just a fact because you got the haters that will start commenting. Ah, Duke think he all that. Nah, it's not that. It's just a fact, my dude. This is the way I am in real life. In real time, that's what I was doing. That's what I'll do if I get locked up today. I know how to jail it because that's what I was doing all my life, in and out of jails and prisons and institutions. Nothing to brag about telling a story in hopes that if anybody ends up locked up or that you don't even have to get locked up because you learn from a jerk like me that thought I knew it all and I didn't. But check this out. We at Rikers Island, C-74. I slept in the back again, right? Homeboy's like my little buddy. Like He's giving me his PIN number. You know, I'm doing the friendly extortion thing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm using his pen like nothing. I'm calling my family with his pen, Bob. The dudes that's in my house, the blood dudes that's with me, like K.O., uh, Lee Moore, he's in, he went to the feds. He blew trial to like 60 years. He was one of the head bloods. He was in my house too. Uh, crime. MK, these are official blood thorough dudes that everybody knows throughout the whole prison system. They was with me. If anybody contact MK, Lee Moore, these are like top blood dudes. Crime, they'll tell you, yo, Warpath was one little dude that was putting it in. Facts. So I had the middle phone, you know, for my people. The bloods had the side phone. And then there was another phone that we both ran anyways because... It was not a neutral phone. A lot of people be like, oh, I go to jail and I didn't join nothing. I came out neutral. Bro, you stunting, you fronting. But who you was always with? You, it's the same thing. When it goes down, they're going to hit you up too. Dudes kill me because they be like, yo, I went to jail. I didn't have to join nothing. Up. Bro, nobody needs to join nothing. People do it because they look at the beautiful things that's in it. And whatever comes out after that is because you was around a bunch of knuckleheads. But you was always with the Bloods, you was always with the Kings, and that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? I don't say Cribs, no disrespect to no Cribs, but the times I was on the island, the Cribs, they didn't really live like that, and that's a fact. I'm not disrespecting nobody. If you know the facts, it's a fact. They had like one house, if that. They walked around with captains and lieutenants and all that because dudes were putting in work on them. Nowadays, it's changing a little bit, but that's just a fact. A lot of people ain't going to like what I'm saying, but it's facts. I'll be lying if I say the Crips were living in the jails in New York. No, they wasn't at all. Facts. The Bloods, the Kings, everybody was tearing them up. And that's a fact. No disrespect because I got friends that are Crips too nowadays that... A good dudes that I grew up with and I'm like, oh shit, you crib boy, it's cool that you my man, you's a good dude. I'm not going to stop loving you because of that. But anyway, yeah, because people miss school. So homeboy decides out of nowhere that he starts building a hole where the shower is at. Like, like, as a matter of fact, it's by the slop sink in the back. There was a slop sink. It's hard to explain, but there's a slop sink and it was like, you know, it was hitting. So he makes a hole. 
one day he brings me coffee because he used to make coffee for us, for the bloods, for the kings, for whoever was there. There was somebody in the house. So this dude, all along, he's playing the slop sing, like washing dishes for people, ah, getting his bread up. But he's going through stressful problems. He has a, a trial that he's going to, right? But there was a possibility that they was going to dismiss the case, but they started scaring him at the end, like putting pressure, like you're going to blow, you got to take this time, uh, 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 right? He starts getting stressed. His girl, he starts even is with another dude. For why was that, bro? <laughs> so I didn't know all this time while he's doing the slop thing, while he's washing dishes for people, he's making a hole to break the hell out. Amazing. Right? It's like, wow, my dude, you're going to try to escape from the island? Mind you, I put the title Escape from Rikers Island because I should have put Try to Escape, but I put Escape because I was going to talk about this one dude that actually made it off the island when I was in the adolescence. But I'll talk about that in the next story. So my bad about that. But it is what it is. So check out the story, right? Homeboy, one day he brings me coffee, boom, and it's mad early, and he's like, yo, yo, here, you want your coffee, man, I gotta go, huh? I'm like, yo, relax, bro, you act like you're going somewhere, man, you act like you're gonna break out or something, I'm saying that innocently, joking, my dude, he goes back towards his slop sink area, because that was like his hangout, right? <laughs> Look how the CEOs and everybody be really asleep on the island. My dude, we running the house. We got the house on smash. Nothing to brag about. Bloods and Kings got the house smashed. As always, nothing to brag about. It was just a fact. So now, when I said, yo, you act like you're going to break out or something, he literally was going to break out that minute when I said that, bro. I'm drinking my coffee, boom, boom, boom. They do the count, bang, uh, something is missing. They call it count time, right? So when you're in a dorm, you got to play your bunk. I don't care that you the toughest dude in the world. You think you Joe Smo. When that count comes, you're going to play your bunk like a punk. Because, not only because people are scared of the seals, that's not really it. It's because the dudes in the house, they're running the house, like me, KO, the other people are... Uh, Lucky that was there. These are blood official dudes. Lucky from Tompkins and Troop up there. He knows. Um, they were in my house. So I had to put the phones back because I used to put the phone in my locker. That's a fact. And I always used to think, yo, if I was one of these dudes, I'll kill me. But then I got it. Like, dudes were scared. I was really like, you got to step to yours on the island. You can't. You got to be about that life. If you if you don't want to get eaten and you want to be a renegade and that's the life you want to live, I always was like, so what up? We's popping. Let's get it. But now, homie, let's not play. Let's not wait. What up? Ping pong. And I'll swing first or I'll cut him. However, like quick, because that's what I was doing at that time. Nothing to glorify. I was dumb. I get it. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it now if I get locked up. Like if I got to go there because dudes is trying to not let a brother live. Then it is what it is. But for the most part, when I get locked up, it's sad. It always the, like almost the same people in the jail. Somebody will see you that knows your your gun go off, and they're like, "Yo, war, you good? You got th this? Is your phone for your peoples, you know, or whatever. You got an hour because they'll let dudes rock. I won't try to take the phone if they still letting up, but they give me an hour and my peoples is living. But that phone has to be for my people. Facts. And y'all got your own phone. We got our. It's jail is just like that. Facts. So anyway. He breaks out. Boom. The alarm goes off. So like I was saying, the people in the house, we tell dudes like, yo, yo, sit down, my man, so they can do the count. Because we want to hurry up and go on about our business to our daily things. We got moves to make, right? It's jail. So the alarm goes off because they keep counting, counting. They don't find him. Now they looking for this dude. Bro, mind you. I was going to go to court the next day, so that's dead. Dudes are stuck in the court pens, all types of things, right? <laughs> Bro, dudes are like, I hope he made it off the island. He hid for like three days. He was in, he went out, He went off the island, and I guess he got scared, and he broke back in. 
So from our window, we could see him like in another mod that was closed. He went in there and they throw in gas, like these little gas bombs in there and all that. And they said that the reason, how, the way they caught him was because he was coughing like <clears throat> from the gas mask. But look how crazy the world is, bro. Because they sent me to, like I got in trouble right then and there while that was happening. Because they came and wanted to lock my back section because I had the yellow with black. These dudes had the red with black. So they locked the back section, figuring the dudes that sleep in the back, the CEOs and the whole world knows those are the dudes that run the house. Because the back is where it's at. That's the famous saying on the island. You know what I'm saying? So I slept at the last bed, all the way in the back. And they could tell, like, you've been here for a long time. They know in the house. I was in that house for a minute. I was on trial myself. For some crazy case. So anyway, um, he breaks back in the house, bro, this kid. After three days, after three days, he only had a few more hours for them to let the search, like to, I don't know, like uh, the National Guards or whatever you call that. They pass it on to somebody else where the island really stops looking for you. And they give it to like somebody else. But they don't like to do that. They want to be the ones to find you. You know what I'm saying? So he had a few more hours for that to happen and the search would have calmed down. You feel me? But being that somebody spotted him and he broke back in, he was done. But I guess he got cold, hungry, however, right? He had to shit, however it was. So he broke back in, bro. And the moral thing is, to me, he broke out because of a girl. I know that facts, right? And now he caught a new charge. And in the process, it had came out like on some Rikers paper or some bogus paper that somebody makes that's not like the Daily News. Or shit. I don't even know if it came out Daily News. During the process, he got more time for breaking out. And the case that he had, that he was going to court for, they was trying to offer him mad time, they got dismissed. Like he beat it. You understand what I'm saying? So this is how sometimes we flip, go crazy. Something good happens. But we can't get that blessing because we messed it up with something else. You feel me? Like trying to be ahead. Like, man, I'm going down. I'm never going to get out. And we start wilding. I did that a lot of times in jail. I played myself. You know, and a lot of my friends that went to jail with one or threes got like 25 after that quarter body. You know, I could go on the list of names for days of people I know, bro. A lot of people with my same clique. A lot of people from different cliques. A lot of neutral dudes. Went to the prison system with little bids and wind up staying forever because they thought, like, I got a crazy case. I'm not going to beat it or whatever the case may be. But most of the time is that. Like, yo, I'm going to do life, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they know what they did or they think that they got them. Then the case gets dismissed. But whoa, 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 my man, where you going? You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you just caught a body in the beacon. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy, man. And girls will drive you, man, to do nut ass things. And no disrespect to women. Women are beautiful. I love all women. I think you deserve the highest respect in the world. You're beautiful queens. But you drive us kings crazy in the world. And I say that to say that when you locked up, it's good to have your mind on your family and think about them from time to time. But look at homeboy and look at a lot of people. You start really bugging and like, bro, she's going to leave me like she's all I got. And you start thinking she's with somebody else or they tell you she is and you going nuts. Just know when you get locked up, you got to focus on that world. You in a different world, my man. And that's where you need to be. Your mind, body, soul, everything needs to be there thinking about that and focus on that. Because you're going to go nuts and you're going to be taking medications and you're going to be on Prozacs and no disrespect to people with mental issues because I myself used to see a psych. I always say that. But you're going to be bugging, bro, over a girl. Most dudes that try to escape from jail is behind their girl, bro. That's what I've seen. The dudes I've been around, at least. You know, it's not that they want freedom, that they want... Bro, homeboy wanted to get out there and he said, you know what, I'm going to kill this chick. And he tried to escape to go do exactly that, bro. So, of course, I get in trouble because they move us to Mar 10. 
you know, that house is now under investigation. They're trying to see how he made the hole, and they're investigating all of us. The reporters are coming, everything. So I come out, and one of my people says, yo, bro, I told you I don't know now. I said, yo, bro, you don't got to answer to him, bro. You don't got to talk to him, bro, because he was trying to take him over there to the side, and that looks wrong. Like, you're not supposed to do that if you're down with us. You got to talk with one of us there. So when I said that, like, the chief investigator grabbed me, Boom, come here. But hard, my dude, like I'm a punk. Like, yo, dudes were like, yo, whoa, what up? You good? Everybody got up and tried to form. I'm like, yo, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Because it was going to be like a riot with the police right there. I'm like, yo, yo, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Like the Bloods, Kings, everybody got up, bro. Even there was Nietas at that time, bro, which they don't hardly exist no more on the island, period. No disrespect to nobody. I just talk facts on this channel. They don't rep no more. They got their food eaten. The bloods was tearing them up. The kings fell back from defending them. And they was on their own. But there's some good and thorough nietas. Don't get it wrong. But they just fell off. And they were the deepest at one time. Deeper than kings, bloods, crips, everybody. And they accepted everybody. Blacks, Chinese, whatever. But they were accepting people that go both ways too. No disrespect to them people. I don't have nothing against that. I'm just saying a story. Facts. So they used to get married upstate in the yard and everything with rice, all that. So Puerto Rico was like, nah, we don't do that. And they sent a letter like, y'all got to debt that. Nobody gave y'all permission. And that's how that faded away Boom. from the jails then. Now they all over the street still. They just don't rep hard like a gang like that. Or not, I don't see them where they at. You know what I'm saying? But uh, no disrespect, they deep though still in the streets in New York. They just don't be out there like that like that no more and little by little they coming back hard trust me because they was deep and they still deep so i always want to say that i'm not disrespecting them because people take offense and be like ah oh, he was saying nah i'm telling a story it is what it is and people want to hear this and they need to hear the real about rikers island because these dudes be telling the story all wrong and lying bro like i'll be thinking like bro have you ever really been there Cause not to brag or nothing is nothing to be happy about. I used to damn near live there, bro. And I ain't never hear the shit that you're saying that dudes be saying. You know what I'm saying? And I was running around beasting in the jail. And I always say, I don't care. You can ask anybody. Dudes that been bitten, dudes that's in the same clique I was. You can ask bloods, whoever. Yo, you ever heard of a dude named Warpath? They're gonna be like, either, yeah, when I see that loop, I'm gonna kill that dude or Yo, that's a hell of a dude, son is thorough, or you got dudes that'll be like, oh, son is phony, I hate that dude, of course. You got your haters, you got your everything. It is what it is. But I'm never lying to you, and I'll never lie to you guys, and that's a fact. I'm not doing like everybody else, over-exaggerating my stories. I got stories for days, because I was really there, I was really doing this, and that was my life, bro, as sad as it may be, and I know it's sad. Today, I'm not trying to live like that. Although I never take out my mind that if I have to, I will. But I don't want to. That's why I'm doing this. And with you guys' help, it's been helping me out a lot. Thanks. I love you guys, man. I help you and you help me. It's a blessing. Without you guys, nothing moves. That's a fact. These YouTubers need to respect that a little more. Without the people that watch them, the people that subscribe and hit that notification bell, comment and all that, you we nobody. And that's a fact. So, with that being said, my dude, they snatch me. Boo! They take me to the thinking, to the why me pen. I was going to say the thinking tank. That was my first time upstate. In shock, they put me in a thinking tank. I was getting in trouble all over the place. So, anyway, they put me in the why me pen. Boom! Cold as hell, bro. I was there for hours, bro. I'm like, I'm getting a new charge. He was like, as a matter of fact, cuff him now. So, Bail him out Bailey that I talked about before that he was doing grimy shit. He's like, get it. And they do it perfect. They told me, step that way. He's like, put your hands straight. He's like, kh, kh. like, man, hard, bro. Them shits hit me. Kh. And they spin themselves. Gong. <laughs> and if they know how to do it, if it's a, a CO or a cop that's been cuffing dudes, he hits you hard enough. Bang. He don't need to move it with his hand. Like, kh. that shit goes. Bang. Kh. And that shit was tight, bro. Boom. You could tell those cuffs were. He had them shits greased up. Them shits were smooth. <laughs> Tight in a minute. So they took me. Boom. Uh, so I'm telling all my goons, like, yo, fall back. Fall back. I'm good. They're like, yo, what? Oh, why would I tell you to flip? That's stupid. Dudes do that that don't care about their people. But we all going to go to the box? We all going to get in trouble? That's not cool. 
Why lose 20 when I could just be the only one to go? I don't mind going alone. I'm going to be alone in another cell anyway, bro. That's that's stupid. But anyway, they take me, bro. They doing the investigation on the kid. We become part of the investigation. They investigating this Dominican dude. There was one of the heads from way back when I first heard of Patia, DDPs, all that. He was a good dude. And um, his name was Animal from the Bronx, right? So Animal, they investigating him too. He's like, bro, I told these dudes I don't know nothing, bro. Because the thing is that we used his PIN number. So they going down through his, you get it? They going down through the list of people that he was calling, bro. And all the calls lead back to where I was calling my girl, bro. And I was calling my people. And the Bloods were calling their people. Animal was called. All the dudes in the house that had money, we were using his calls because we would buy his calls or he'll look out. But normally we was buying them. Like we'll give them loose cigarettes for a call. You feel me? We'll buy it for the whole week. And then I'll tell Animal or he'll tell me, yo, war, you going to use that pen? I'm like, nah, 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 not this week. You got it. And he'll hit him so nobody else will get it. Or KO will be like, I got that. You know what I'm saying? However the kid felt, he'll go to the top goons to sell it. And he knew that either one of us wasn't going to say nothing to each other. Because he's going to the dudes from the cliques that's top. And I'm not going to say nothing if KO used it. KO was my man, the blood dude. Like, I loved KO. Animal was cool with us. You feel me? So, another one that was with us that was a good dude, bro. I'm talking about, like, like, Afri like, like black brothers. Was... Uh, Goldie, bro. Goldie, shout out. I see Goldie a lot, like, on the trains out here. I bump into him in Brooklyn. Good dude, bro. He never changed. One day, he sent me a... He, I went to pick up a... And I don't mean to get off topic, but you want to hear stories, right? So, let's get it. <laughs> so, we... He sends me to pick up a ball on the floor, like the mother load of weed, right? And he's like, yo, there's some dog food in there. You keep the dog food, I take the weed because I keep it 100. The dog food was our thing. That's where the most money was at. That's like the best high that you could get that it don't stay in your system too long. Two or three days, you drink water, you flush out. They call you for urine, you good. Weed, you done, bro. You going to the box. So anyway, well, not really if you know how to move, but it's way worse your urine is super dirty, bro, compared to doing heavy drugs that leave in a few days. It's crazy, right? But anyway, um, I go get that, bro. My dude, when my girl, when I grab that from my girl's church, boop, <laughs> that shit was like a handball, bro. That I boofed it, boom, and I was shaking. Like, oh, shit. My girl was like, yo, you all right? And they even seen me from the bubble. They ran out like, yo, he boofed it. He boofed it. The CEOs, come on. <laughs> grab me. Boom. But it was gone. They were like, my man said, they're going to put you in the observation tank. But they never did that to me because they knew if they took me out of a house that I've been in for 18, 12 months, or they take me out the building, a whole lot of war could break out because I was running. I was the dude in the building. I didn't have to be, you know, there was times that I wasn't the head honcho out my clique. I was just chilling, being a regular me, right? But my words still held a lot of weight. And the police knew that. You feel me? So, like, we take him out of jail. A war might break out. Like, this kid has, a, like, peace between all the cliques because they love him. You feel me? I leave. It goes back to regular, to the way it was. Y'all going to have a hell in here. You feel me? Because the blacks loved me. Everybody was like, yo, war's official. Like, war's one of the real ones. Like, I always kept it real, bro. Like, if somebody went to jump somebody, I'm like, no, 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 no. You're not jumping that dude because he's black. No, 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 no. You're not jumping that dude because he's white. Shoot him a fair one, bro. Dude's like, really? Yeah, dude, really? huh? <laughs> Let's see where you at. Put that work in. What up? And that's what dudes respected about me. I deaded all the abuse. I wasn't with it. Facts. I even looked out for the dude that people thought was a bum or nobody. I'm like, bro, you need to call? You need a new pair of slippers? You need soap, puppy? You all right? Like that. And when I got hit off with drugs, I'll hit the people that dudes be like, yo, he's a snitch. All right, come here, bro. You want some of this bunk? That's why he's snitching. Because ain't nobody looking out for him. Everybody's labeling him. So I hit him off. Bang, bang. I'm not dumb. I just made him my co-defender. How could he tell on me? Even though he still could. Co-defenders do tell. 
but the chances are real rare. And a lot of dudes didn't understand that. And KO did. KO was like, yo, war, you a smart dude. You make this dude your co-defender. Thinking, you know, because we thinking he might be the one telling, but nobody was sure. I just don't label somebody a rat if you're not sure, bro. You can't just do that. And we go around doing that loosely on in the world, on social media. Oh, he's a rat. Bro, people get hit up for that every day, bro. That's a fact. You got to watch your mouth. But anyway, I love you guys, man. I did this rushing. I'm sorry. Uh, I have a birthday party to go to. A family member. I'll post some of that up, uh, hopefully, right? But I promised you guys I was going to do it at 8 o'clock. So I had to jump on and do it. This is real facts. I'm recording it right now. It's like a few minutes to 8 o'clock or something like that, right? It was going to be 8 soon. And uh, I make my things a reality. Like right there, boom, this is done quick. Bang, ain't no editing, no super editing, no stunning, no lights, oh, put makeup on. Nah, this is me. This is what it is. Gang. And don't make fun of me. I've messed up my eyebrows because, yes, we shape up our eyebrows here. We try to stay looking young, looking pretty boy at the same time. You know, I, 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 you know what it is. I love you guys. But check this out, bro. Don't laugh, bro. I told my girl, yo, don't laugh. And she was like, let me see. I showed her. I was like this. I took her. She was like, ah. I was like, yo, are you serious, bro? That was that was another time when I took them all off because I messed one up. I said, let me take them all off. I looked this super funny. So, okay, yeah, I messed up my mustache this week a few days ago. So, it's growing back. It's nothing. It's here. Plus, it looked cool like that. I'm like, oh, shit. No mustache and then this new flow. But I'm just saying something because I got a set of lips. Nobody cares about my eyebrows and my mustache. But check it. That's how real I am. I'm going to show you facts. Even though these are Carrera glass sunglasses, official. But I'm going to show you. Bang. <laughs> Yo, my dude, what the hell happened? Nah, but they don't look that bad. They just look like too skinny and too shaped, right? So it makes you look like super feminine to me. To me, hold on. To me. Because I want to make sure you guys can hear me, bro. To me, right? To me. I don't know. But my dude was like, Yo, my dude, it don't look that bad. Whoa, you good. I don't know, bro. Plus, this camera is twisted, so you guys probably see them smaller. But this one is short. This one is super short. This one was alright. This one looked like the women I know be trying to get this like to that, bro. But I like my shit like a little thicker, but nice in shape. You know, I'm a hairy ass dude, so I cut my shit down proper. You know, you don't want to be looking crazy with your eyebrows. I know dudes be like, oh, bro, I'm a gangster, bro. Gangsters don't get pretty dub. That's bullshit, bro. That just says you're a clean dude, bro. Like, you don't want your hair sticking up this way, that way, like, looking crazy. You, you had a party stunting like you the man. But, bro, your eyebrows look crazy. You feel me? Everybody else. And, and from where I come from, my country, dude, they give you a razor. Grandma, she be like, shave everything. Get it right, bro. Like, you better be clean. Shit better be shaped up. So, th I've been doing this since I was a kid. It's nothing new. Normally, if I just leave them alone, my shit is proper anyway. But yes, if you can, it's for those that were asking before, yo, you do shave his eyebrows. Yeah, nigga. Facts. We shave our eyebrows. What's the problem? <laughs> Maybe you should too. Your shit look twisted. <laughs> nah, bro. Just trying to make you guys laugh, bro. Have a little humor. But it's facts. So there you have it, bro. This is me. Always with my coffee, cafetero. You know a dude's been really bitten hard when he drink coffee all day. Facts. I love you guys, bro. I got to catch this party. Thank you for tuning in. You already know. Thank you for locking out and keeping it official and not being scared. Lock out on every lockout. Never stay locked in. Lockout gang. Boom. On the lockout. Love y'all, bro. Share this. Subscribe. Hit notification. Tell a friend. Tell a neighbor. Tell everybody. Real, live, jail, and prison stories. Always facts. Soon we're gonna get it lit. We're gonna start going to Rikers when dudes start coming out. I'm a, anyway. Let me let me stop telling my ideas to people because. But you already know it's gonna be lit this summer. Stay stick with me, guys. I'm gonna make you so proud, and you guys is, is gonna is gonna love it, bro. It's gonna be on. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for locking out. Gang shit, you already know, never glorifying, just telling a story so we help other people not go through things we went through and they don't try to escape like that crazy dude. <laughs>
and never make it nowhere. Where you going, bro? It's Rikers Island. Where you going? Only one dude I know while I was there escaped, made it out, and caught a body. I'll be telling that in the next story. Facts. He caught a murder. Facts.